Namaste brothers and sisters, this is Jen and I'm inspired to make this video uh, just to connect with everyone uh, you know, with regards to what on earth is actually really going on with the current energetics. <sighs> That's what this video is about. Like, holy moly and be Jesus. This portal has been the most intense portal I have truly have ever known. And beyond deep. So yeah, we need to be speaking about that, especially for the, for the you know, the frontline ground crew of which I am one. And I'm, this message is very much drawn to those people that, you know, very much on the, the edge of the, of the ascension trajectory and this message is specifically for us with regards to these times and the whole anchoring of the twin flame template all to do with that massive things going down with the um, anchoring of the twin flame template right now and and you know it, the realization that it's such a pure template that that unconditional love and you know loyalty that you have to to your genuine beloved that the earth and all, you know, we all have to be cleansed and purified to be able to, you know, allow that and embody that. So we're in for that. This message is for us who are, who, who this message resonates. This is for you. This is for me. And yeah, what an amazing journey we're on. And, you know, and for myself, just realizing that actually these messages that I bring through, they are such a deep medicine for myself. Because when I when I go into this space, I you know there is a, there is a transmission from my higher self, and that is for me. So I listen to these videos, and it's, it gives me so much healing, it gives me so much like power, and so like I'm making this video for me as well. <laughs> like this is for all of us. This is you know the part of us that like is so wise and just knows just knows that everything's all right and but like we have to acknowledge those times when the when we really really are taken to the absolute deepest depths of the ocean and at, in that place wobbled <laughs> like there's no tomorrow you know what's that all about that's plutonic that's plutonic that's like right like it's like a surge it's like we're going in <laughs> oh my golly <laughs> i think we've had 12th dimensional um psychic surgery going on oh god anyway om namah shivaya 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 Om Namah Shivaya. 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 So yeah, just connecting with you all, brothers and sisters. Connecting with myself. Like the twin flame journey. This is real. And actually, I, I've 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 come to this decision that I'm gonna to refer to it now as the twin soul because I received a bit of a download today and it was like this whole twin flame thing, yeah? Like, in a way, pe many people think they've met their twin flame. There is this phenomena that is like, you have this experience of meeting your twin, your, 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 it's actually of meeting your twin soul, but, but it's not. And there, and you know, and I was shown today that these are your twin flames, that they're, they're those souls that you've made that agreement with to like, you know, to get you to that place of like with your twin soul, because your twin soul is the actual one. It's not, it's not like, like previously you could have called it like the catalyst twin, but now we could call it like, I've like received this download that that's the twin flame, the twin flame phenomena is this, you know, that this person is my um, identical vibrational match. Like there is that, and then, and then there is the actual twin soul, 
the one that is that that you you're convinced that all these catalyst twins are are are, are the twin soul but they're not you know and um oh my god so yeah so like i, I was shown that this is the um like this could be perceived as like the, the twin flame phenomena but actually, like, what we're really talking about here is the twin soul. And I'm really talking about the twin souls, like, not the twin flames. Because things are going down with the actual, like, you know, the blueprint, the template, the Christ and Magdalene, divine union template is being anchored right now, brothers and sisters. And we on the front line have done such phenomenal work to get to this place where vibrationally that divine union template has has anchored and we are all now being flooded with wave upon wave of knowing and remembrance yeah so we have to just allow that and just say yes and i receive that and step forward in those actions that are joyful forever joyful what is it that brings you joy what is it that brings me joy singing brings me joy sharing like being that you know, the radiance that I am, that brings me joy. Like, what is it that brings you joy? Like, like that's what it's all about. Like, we need to just, like, step up and, like, you know, do the work, shine. And um, massive things are going on with the, with the Divine Union, um, the Yeshua Magdalene Divine Union template right now. And this is a lot to do with the Solstice Energies. Because the cards I pulled are the Tower. And this was a message I said to my, you know, I'm on a journey. I'm on a journey with my own divine union. And I, I am well aware that on, an, on a 5D energetic level, I hold a, a particular position within the whatever, whatever of the whatever. <laughs> so, like, you know, my, my, because I'm holding the faith. I'm like, they're like, you know, that's the thing. I'm holding the faith. So obviously my twin flame journey is like, it's quite epic. It's cool as it is. So I was like, what's going on, God? What's going on? <laughs> and, and I pulled some cards and this for the collective. And this is what inspired me to um, like show up in this reading. And I was like, you know, partly to share with you that this message is for me and this message is for all of us. The ones are the actual ones that are in this in this dance and knowing of the of the genuine twin soul like you know not not the twin flame phenomena but actually that that energetic um sort of like pattern that has come forth to be anchored in the grid like you know that not the not the nearly that the that that energy <laughs> It's all going on, brothers and sisters. It's all going on. And so for, for that reason, the tower, that's for the divine masculine. Because the, the divine masculine has been totally and utterly seduced by the third dimension. And they, they, they were like, they forgot. They gave up. They gave up on God a long time ago. Like, you know, be, being planet Earth, if planet Earth was a hardcore shit place for, for the divine masculine. God bless our brothers. Hear that, hear that, brothers. You know, I feel like the brothers and, oh God, see? That's what's, you know, they're, they're, there's, see, I'm quite emotional because the, the car, you know, this is what this is all about and this is all about the solstice energy, like, there's, there's, this is, there's going to be such a powerful shift. Massive things are going on. And these kind of like, you know, 3D structures that the Divine Masculine have built based on their like attachment to the 3D consciousness, they're, they're about to crumble as the tower says, you know, and um, yeah, such beautiful cards. Look at this card. Like this is for me. This is for us. This is for you. This is for the collective. Brothers and sisters, this is time now to send out some big love to the Divine Masculine. Because the Divine Masculine, as a collective, has had a very, very intensively 
pretty dark and extraordinary literally um, challenging experience of life on the third dimension and we as the divine feminine even though we have been like you know received like deep atrocities from the divine masculine we need to rise now as the divine mother to step forward to like nurture the collective divine masculine that is it ha has been through a battle a battle trust me brothers and sisters what's going on so powerful that's what's going on you know and all is well and then the second card I pulled was the uh, Queen of Water and that is the Divine Feminine the Divine look at that card that says it all the Divine Feminine is like pure beauty she is the self-realized master and she does not need or seek anything outside of herself to step forward as the radiant queen that she promised not only her humanity but her divine beloved that she would remember. And this is she, sisters, and this is you, and this is me. Because we are encoded with remembrance of emotional self-mastery. And that all comes down to, you know, always comes down to prioritising. Resting as awareness for short moments and just jumping off that train of thought and making that a practice, like regardless of life storms. Like it's almost like having that sort of, yeah, it's, it's definitely like having a awe. Like these have been very, very intense waters that we've all been swimming in. I mean, I have, and I know I have done very, 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 very deep work for the collective of all of us. And th these waters have been deeper than I have known in a very, very, very long time. Maybe even, yeah, you know. And it's so beautiful. And, and I just want to step forward and share that with you. And yeah, yeah. And so the queen, queen, like we, it, it's time now, sisters. Like we need to step forward and, like, like you know, activate those mother energies and forgiveness energies to the towards the divine masculine. That is what is needed with, with all the masculines within, you know, in our lives. And um, yeah, God, and, and that's so interesting for me to bring through that message and channel that because I personally have had, had a very challenging relationship with the masculine in my life. For sure. So, yeah, and it's stepping forward as the Divine Feminine now, as a collective, and in, in that remembrance that it is our duty to, you know, love and nurture and forgive our our brothers, you know, because the Divine mas the Divine Masculine is, I, 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 you know, I've always been shown that the Divine Masculine has holds a certain vulnerability that the, the Divine Feminine does not have. That the divine feminine has a very specific resilience. That the divine masculine has, you know, chosen in this lifetime. That 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 is not part of the, you know, the um, the journey. Is that? So yeah, and, and within that there is the mother. You know, the mother. The mother is the creator. Who is the creator? The mother is the creator. That's what it comes down to in it. I'm like, who's God? Well, who? You know. <laughs> That's hilarious, isn't it? It's so hilarious. Got to go soon. Anyway, so yeah, sisters, step up. Jen Jen, step up. Matahari G, it is time now to step up. Let's all step up. Like, we've got to lead the way to the brothers that are like, they're falling. They're falling and they've got to like, you know, they've got to fall into the Divine Feminine's arms. And this card, the Five of Water, Oh yeah, this card to me, 
this card, I felt quite emotional when I saw this card because I was like, that is the Divine Masculine. Like the Five of Water is like, you know, where you're swimming in those realms of disappointment because you really fervently have been seeking that ultimate bliss, but you truly have been looking in the wrong places. You know, and so you'll never find it in the wrong places. <laughs> and this is that card where that divine masculine has been perpetually, you know, making those choices out of fear. And that's what's going on. And so, you know, and, and, and that's what's going on as a collective. And, and I guess, again, it's that vulnerability towards the divine masculine that we need to step up. We need to step up as the divine as the Divine Feminine, because the Divine Masculine is like calling for assistance without a shadow of a doubt. We've got big things going on. We've got big things going on right now. And um, uh, energetically, with the waves that are coming in are beyond what we have known. So, my advice to all of us is drink pure water. Take walks on the grass. Bare feet if possible. Practice resting as awareness for short moments at any time throughout your day, whenever you remember to do so. And remembering to choose joy, <laughs> that absolutely everything is a choice. And yeah, but you know, for me, the truth of the matter is, this has been a very, like a test of faith. I've just had a test of faith, brothers and sisters. <laughs> like, you know, I, I come forth from, like just having had a test of faith. So, and so my message is, yeah, so what can I say? Like, I can say that I, um, I crossed paths on the physical plane with my actual like you know divine counterpart and um and that hadn't happened for a long time and that was very very powerful and that is very powerful and i'm in that gateway and it's like it's like for me it's like oh god i can't imagine like it's taking like some sort of medicine it's like some kind of like really <sighs> high level medicine so yeah, that's what happens, and that that. So I come forth from that with a certain vulnerability and a certain, just you know, just wanting to share me and sharing, sharing all the messages, all the messages that have come through. It's all about stepping up for the divine masculine, and I will come back with a, a part two of this because I just have to take Finn somewhere. So I love you all so very very much, and I'm so happy to be on this sacred journey with you all. Om Namah Shivaya. 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 Shivaya. Shiva Yom Baba Om Namatam Shiva Yom Shiva Yom Shiva, Om Namah Shiva, Om Namah Shiva, Om Namah Shiva.
May we all remember the realms where Om Namah Shivaya is playing as an eternal, wondrous offering. Uh, that's where I go, that's where I am. If anyone's wondering where I am, that's where I am. I'm like Om Namah Shivaya. Dear ones, we would like to inform you about the next webinar transmission that will take place on the 12th of the 12th, 2017 at 5.55 p.m. UK time. This is an extremely important transmission that is essential to prepare many of us personally and collectively for the upcoming Solstice Gateway of 2017. In this transmission, we will be working specifically with the Divine Masculine and Feminine to activate the Earth Star Chakra, which exists below the root center. This Earth Star Chakra has been designed to fully anchor and ground the individualized Christ frequencies into the core of the Earth, such that they may be activated on all of your individual specific grid points. This is deeply important preparation work for the Solstice Gateway. The Earth Star contains all the codes which when aligned are able to flood your entire energetic system with your own personal higher self God codes, which in turn deeply stimulates your personal powers of manifestation. As ever this work can be done on an individual level, however when it is done in an enlightened group setting, the results for everyone are exponential and thus hugely magnified. This is huge work that we are being asked to do for Gaia and the collective consciousness. And we are also being asked to activate Gaia's Earth Star, which thus enables her to fully ground and anchor her 5D timeline. The benefits of activating the personal and collective Earth Star are vast and far reaching. And please know that all those who come forward to take part in this ceremony will experience profound shifts in their current reality matrix, particularly with regards to an increased ability to stabilize on your own 5D timelines and in empowering all of the sacred and ancient codes of manifestation that are stored and waiting to be activated within your own personal Earth Star. This transmission is directly related to and in preparation for the Solstice Gateway and please know that more will be revealed with regards to the 1212 portal in due course. In this transmission, we will also be addressing the core wounds of all of the individuals that sign up to take part in this very important transmission. It is very important at these times that we work specifically with our core ancestral wounds to enable them to be fully and completely released from our energetic and emotional and physical systems. 
Again, we will be working with the Earth Star, which holds all of the codes to fully and completely remove all of the core wounds that you have taken on in this lifetime. The cost to join this potent transmission is £22 and the link to book is below. MP3 activations that have been designed to fast track you into full union with your beloved twin flame. Number one, meet the fifth dimensional aspect of your twin flame. Number two, meet and merge in the zero point field with your twin flame. Number three, the abundance MP3 activation. Number four, the self-worth MP3 activation. Number five, the Magdalene and Yeshua Divine Union MP3. Number six, heal and restore the Atlantis timeline. Number seven, the Violet Waterfall MP3. Number eight, the Inner Child Healing MP3. Number nine, love your physical body, reprogramming, MP3. Number 10, light language dispensation. Number 11, deep relaxation, MP3. Number 12, balancing, giving and receiving. Number 13, reviving the frozen garden of your heart. Number 14, source frequency activation. And number 15, angelic T-cell activation. Thank you so much for watching this video, beloveds. Please like, comment and subscribe. Many, many blessings to you all. Namaste.